what's up guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel it's a girl back again my boy i hope you guys are awesome i hope you're doing good as for me i'm very good i can't complain much so guys today i've decided to do a review of my washing machine most of you have been requesting me to do a review of it since i did the unboxing video Changuyo time most of you as in a lot of people have been asking me to do a review of it and i've decided why not so since today i'm doing laundry i've decided it will be the perfect day for me to do it and i hope i'll give all the details in case i'll not answer some of your questions um, uh, there are some things that you'll still need to know um, you'll, you'll, in case you'll have more questions you'll just comment them on the comment section and i'll definitely answer them for you guys so let me begin by showing you the washing machine as i tell you which one it is so guys this is the washing machine it is a ram tons washing machine a chin tube semi-automatic it's not like fully automatic but that is how it looks like it's a twin tube yeah meaning it has two two nini two sections this one and this one so ni rw stroke 116 and it's a 10 kg washing machine even in a car don't mind the background uh that is how it looks like so it has a wash timer nini option it has a wash selector if you're washing like normal clothes slate clothes you can just select normal but if you're washing heavy clothes um, a lot of clothes you can just select heavy that way then from there we have a uh, rinse wash stroke rinse and also we have drain that means that if you're washing um, you're rinsing it but in case you want to drain out the water that is in here you just switch it to drain and the water will automatically drain so from there we have this pin timer this one is meant for here so when you want to dry your clothes you use when you want to dry your clothes you use this but here it will spin your clothes you get it will spin your clothes and it will dry uh, and it will at least uh, dry out so inside this is how it looks oops so this is how it looks inside even though in a car this is how it looks like uh and this is the spinner side spinner part. so we have we have this cup pipe this one i hope you guys can see it well and we also have this one you guys will see how, how i'm gonna use all of this and now we have this section where, is, where we usually spin, where the clothes are spinned. Yeah, I hope you've now understood what we mean by spinning. But in case you've not understood, we're gonna we're going to go back to that. So that is basically how the washing machine looks like. It's a 10 kg. I don't know whether I mentioned that. It's a 10 kg, so it can accommodate a lot of clothes. So on this part here, on this side, we have this cup pipe here. This one that is used to drain out the water. So that is it. Then let me show you the other side. Then from this side, from this side, we have uh, the nini. Don't mind the clothes. We have the socket. So I usually connect it, connect it direct to my extension, my bedroom extension. There you go. So from the washing machine, go start way, direct to the extension to my bedroom extension. So this is where I usually do my laundry since I don't have enough space. My house is small. Uh, that is where I usually place my washing machine, just uh, next to the bedroom and uh, next to the bed be uh, washroom. So that's it so guys uh the first step that i usually do is to drain in to is to put in some water in the washing machine so i'm going to connect using this pipe i'm going to connect uh my tap so guys you see this uh this pipe that i had showed uh, showed you it usually come with the washing machine so this one you're supposed to connect it to the pipe that is uh 
connected to the tap so you connect it uh, you connect it this way you just fix it here i hope you guys understand what i'm doing so you connect it that way then from there you see this part here this is where you connect the this pipe this is where you connect the pipe so using this pipe to connect the to connect to connect the nini the other pipe to the tap so that's it so we're gonna put in water Uh, so guys my water is now not full but uh, enough it's enough water so happened to give me thicker but there guys there's usually some measurements here this is L M and H and H I M and H L meaning low medium high and I don't know high what I don't know what it stands for I don't know if you guys can see that. This is high media. So that is a. I think I'll add some more water because today, today I'm washing a lot of clothes. So guys, I wanted to tell you something before I add some more water. You can always use a bucket to fill in your, like to put water in your machine. Machine, you don't have to use a pipe. You get so that is. Can I say an advantage? Yeah, an advantage of using a semi-automatic washing machine because for the manual, the, the full fully manual washing machine, you have to use a pipe and you have to have a flow of water, enough flow of water in that. After magic potaki dogo, it will stop working. But for the for this type of washing machine, you can always kama hauna magic kwa nyumba kama magic mepota, you can always use a you can always transfer water maybe from your tank, from your storage, from your mtungi direct to your washing machine and wash your clothes. You don't have to wait until time maji itakuwa ando washing wazako. So that's a kind of plus when it comes to this one. And yeah, so uh, I'm going to add in some more water then add soap. For the soap, actually for the soap, I usually use, I usually store it here. This is a parcel, parcel. There's parcel for washing machine and parcel for hand wash. So usually you use the parcel for washing machine. It is actually recommended. Let me see whether I can show you guys. I don't have space. There it is. Ramptons recommends parcel. So that is what I usually use. So I think this this water is enough. So I'm going to add this uh, soap. This detergent parcel. I like putting enough um, amount. So from there, I'm going to spin it without clothes. So I'm going to turn it on and let it let it wash, let it spin for some time. Not spin, spin, but let it let the, the the detergent dissolve in water for some minutes then now add my clothes so guys as the water is spinning as the detergent is dissolving in the water let me now come to the clothes how usually divide my clothes separate them so that i can wash them so here we have some we have some white clothes we have these white clothes white bed sheets this ones and we also have some white t-shirt like this one we have this one you see so this is what i usually do i usually start with the bright clothes bright clothes first actually I usually like uh, put them inside the washing machine without like spinning without washing them for like five minutes for them to soak 
yes for about five minutes inside now the soapy water then from there now now wash them after that i'm going to i'm now going to wash the less brighter to can deliver to can start with the other clothes because then you see for sweatpants then maybe sweaters i guess the so the detergent has, has now dissolved but before i put in some clothes i wanted to show you something to show the difference between the normal this normal and uh, heavy wash selector so for the normal you guys have seen when you're in a spin it, it is only spinning once you get but not for the heavy let me change it to heavy i've changed it to heavy so i want you guys to notice the difference have you noticed it's going like two or three times I'm gonna test that. Let me change it to normal so that you guys can see. Now it's back to normal. You see, the normal one is only going once, but the heavy one is going like two three times so i think now it's enough so i can just uh switch it off is it switching it off been taking it back to zero so i wanted to mention something personally i usually prefer washing my clothes when it is heavy it doesn't matter whether i'm washing tops bed sheets sweaters or anything because the normal one i usually find it very slow you guys uh, uh you guys will see that so let me add the bed sheets then we shall use the normal one and we shall also use the heavy one so that you guys can see the difference. For me, I usually see normal is very slow compared to heavy. So let's do that right now. So here are my white clothes. So there they are. I'll let them soak for like maybe a minute because they're not that dirty. Oh, just to mention, this is not a wet cloth. It's a bright cloth. It's a grey cloth. It's my bed sheet. So I've decided to just mix it with the rest. Someone can ask themselves maybe why am I, why am I calling this a wet cloth. It's not a wet cloth. It's just that it's a bed sheet. And I usually want, I usually want to make sure that all my bed sheets are speak and span. Depending with the color and yeah, yeah. So guys, uh, one minute is over. So what you're going to do is uh, you now want to start washing them. So we're gonna use the normal one first. So we're going to select. We're gonna use the the Kawaida select wash selector, the normal one. So we're going to spin so that you guys can see the difference. So I'll put only like six minutes. You guys can see how it is working okay it is working perfectly but it is slow so let's put the heavy option so that you guys can see the difference so yeah that is the difference you guys can notice that so with this, I'm only going to wash it for a shorter period of time compared to the normal one. For the normal one, I'm going to wash it for a longer period of time. So now that I've now put in the clothes, I'm going to select... I'm going to put my timer to 15 minutes. So it's going to wash for 15 minutes. Let me cover it.
so it's gonna wash for 15 minutes and from there we're going to rinse also the wash time depends on the amount of clothes you're washing and it also depends with how dirty they are and uh, it also depends with the wash selector that you've selected so if your clothes are dirty dirty maybe you can consider washing them 15 times 15 uh one round of 15 two, two rounds of 15 maybe if they're not that that you can consider washing them nine minutes it all depends on somebody but but personally you really prefer washing them 15 minutes and sometimes i wash my clothes using uh like two rounds of 15 minutes each yeah if i'm making any sense is it minutes in a minute how many seconds that's minutes yeah so that's it so we're gonna leave them to wash then we're going to go to the next step i hope you guys so far you're together and i hope to remember if you have any questions just consider commenting down below so that i can answer them yeah so guys our wash time is almost over so let's see what is happening so that is a progress that is a progress So if it's a TV immediately, we're going to now transfer it here. Transfer the clothes here, I mean. So actually, share to transfer. So guys, uh, we are on the next level. So here, there are different ways how you can do it. That's why uh, I've positioned you guys there. So the first thing, we're going to transfer all the clothes from the washer to the spinner. Now the spinner is where the clothes are kind of dried something of the sort so there are many ways depending with you yourself kuna when you economize us those who don't like uh wasting a lot of water like me then kuna when they don't care they magic to flow there's no problem so there's some people who opt to to just remove the clothes so during this time you have to make sure that this Pipe. You remember this pipe? I don't know that you guys can see it. This pipe, uh, this pipe is meant for draining out water. So I'm going to just place it in such a way that it's going to direct, it's going to, to drain the water to the bathroom. You get So I'm going to just place it. So, uh, guys, the first thing you can do, you can opt to. You just remove the water. Uh, you just remove if you're very lazy, Emma. If you don't mind wasting a lot of water, you can just be removing the clothes the way they are without even denying them this way, without squeezing them. You just remove them like this and just place them this way. That is the first step. You can consider that way. And now the water that is draining from here will just flow directly to. You, you'll just drain it out alternative uh, alternatively you can consider i don't know whether you guys can hear me well alternatively you can consider just doing that removing the clothes directly without without doing what without squeezing them without drying them with your hands place them here then use a bucket or something to trap the water that is draining you get so you just uh cut the bucket chini then Una allow the pipe to drain the water, to direct the water inside the bucket under the basin, depending on what you're going to use. Then from there, return the water inside the the spinner, the washer. That is another step. Uh, alternatively, you can do this other step, which I consider I prefer using other than bringing out the water. I prefer just squeezing the clothes this way and putting them that way. In that. I not have to waste a lot of water and I not have to bend to now start trapping the water to now you get to now saving the water from draining and from being wasted. So I prefer just squeezing it myself a little bit without using a lot of energy. That way. But it's up to you guys.
So guys, now that is how I usually do, I squeeze the clothes, then from there, you remember this thing, this stuff. So I'm going to rinse it. This one is supposed to be used here when spinning. So I'm going to just spin it, uh, rinse it using, the, using that water. Then now, I have to make sure that my, my clothes are leveled. That way, then I'm going to place this stuff inside here. I'm going to fix it inside here. Let me show you. So my clothes are leveled. You see, like hakuna zine ziko chini, zingine ziko juu, they're just leveled. Then from there, use this stuff here. This way. To make sure that they go, they go well, they go packed inside there. Then from there, you have to lock this one. Then now, lock that one. So, you guys can see the draining pipe. Here it is, this one. Don't mind these clothes. No, this is a pipe that is going to be used to drain the water out. So I'm going to spin for maybe two minutes. L the longer you spin, the, the the more water it's going to drain. So it's now spinning and the water is now flowing out that way. Time is almost over. So that's it. So I wanted to mention something, guys. Uh, for safety purposes, this thing, this uh, this part, this section here is set in such a way that if you open it when the spinning, when it's spinning, it will automatically stop. You get. For example, let me show you. So you see, guys, it's spinning. So if I open it. It has automatically stopped yeah it doesn't matter whether uh the spinning whether it's still spinning the spinning time is still on i'm a um, imesha but once you open this thing it stops spinning uh reason being it usually prevent maybe kids from maybe getting getting uh getting injured maybe they can open here without knowing they can open here when it's spinning and open and it can injure them so it's set in such a way that once you start spinning it in case you open this place it will automatically stop spinning so that's a plus for the washing machine so guys, there's something that i wanted to mention uh there of course everybody does their things maybe differently but personally i usually do this so now that i have spent the clothes they are dry let me show you you see like for example this one it is very dry you see there's nothing nothing at all that is coming out so they they are dried so what i usually do i'll pour in some water in the spinner this this place this section here i'll drain in some water inside for me to it will help rinse you get it will rinse the <clears throat> it will help me rinse the clothes Although I'm going to rinse, to rinse them again afterwards, but I usually prefer first of all rinsing them here so that when I come when it comes to rinsing again, how uh, although I'm going to show you when it comes to rinsing again, I'll only rinse once and not maybe to a summer thrice. So I usually prefer first of all rinsing them here, kidogo, just pouring in water, then spinning again. The kipika to make rinse again. It's uh, at least the call. It could better hit up one as tabuning sana. So let me drain in some water so that you guys can understand what I am saying. So guys, uh this is what is happening. So the same way I was draining in water using the pipe is the same way that I'm going to drain in water to the spin section. So uh you guys can you will now see the the use of this wash and spin. So when it's wash, it is draining in water. When it is uh, spin, it is draining the water on the spin section. So I'm draining in water to make sure that the clothes absorb enough water. 
so that when I start you now rinsing the clothes again, I'll only rinse once and not twice. I'm a thrice to avoid uh, wasting a lot of time and energy. So that's it. On the other hand, I'm adding some more clothes to this wash sec section. Oh, I'm adding some more clothes to this wash section for them to be uh, absorbing water. So yeah, we have some pigs inside. So in here I have some t-shirts, I have these pillow covers and I also have I've added some bright bright some grey jumpers because the space is enough. It can accommodate a lot of clothes so that's a plus for the 10 kg washing machine. So I think the clothes have absorbed enough water so let me switch off the water and spin them for the last time. So I know this time around some a lot of water will be wasted. So now guys, now that I have finished spinning the dressing the mini the clothes, spinning them, I'm now going to put them in this bucket as I now wash some more clothes. See how clean they are. Let me see. Very clean. Very clean. So now we are now washing the other batch of clothes. I leave them to wash. This bed is empty. So guys, what happens is that I usually first of all wash all my clothes. Once I've washed all my clothes, I'll now start rinsing them. You get I first of all wash the clo all the clothes, then now start rinsing them all. You get I don't like wash maybe wet clothes and now rinse them, then now wash the sweaters and my t-shirts, then now rinse no. I first of all wash all the clothes, then now rinse them. So now I'm washing the other batch, then I'll wash more and more and call it a day. Then from now no from there now I'm going to show you guys how I usually spin. So when it comes to washing, you guys have already seen how I usually do it. At least you have an idea of what is usually done. So remember in case you have any question feel free to comment on below your question and i'll definitely answer it for you guys i hope guys i'm not doing a very long video i hope i'm not repeating myself over and over again because people complain that i talk too much sometimes but i hope because uh it's because i'm trying to be as detailed as possible to make sure that you you, you, you don't miss out any bit of the washing process so guys as you can continue kindly make sure that you like this video it's not easy by the shooting with all this i'm using my phone and i'm also using my camera so support a girl by liking 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 and also subscribing so as soon as i'm done washing all these clothes these clothes this is what eh? except the jeans i'm going to bring you back so that you can now rinse together so that i can show you how i usually rinse the clothes yeah so that is it for today for now so far so guys i've finished washing all the clothes here they are that is how they have been put arranged so uh after washing them i drained the dirty water and I replaced it with clean water. But before replacing it, I of course washed the washing machine to make sure that it is clean and I rinsed it. So I replaced it with clean water. So I want to add my so soft in, the, in, in here. Then now start uh, rinsing them. 
starting from the white ones. So let's add the let's add the susan very fast. So the same way we did with the soap, the detergent, that is the same way we're going to do with the so soft. We first of all going to uh, spin it for some few minutes. Then once it has mixed, once it has mixed well, now we're gonna add the clothes. So. I think that is that is enough. So I'm going to add this one. So guys, I'm done with laundry. It's not time to to clean the washing machine. Then from there, call it a day. So the okay, basically, I'm only going to use this. I'll show you. I'm going to use this towel to clean it. Then from there, I'll be done with laundry. Uh, after I'm done cleaning, maybe I'll just give you some few. Some few reviews, I must some few comments about the washing machine to keep my Livia sour. So let me clean it very fast then get back to you guys. So that is how it looks inside. Uh, before cleaning, this is after rinsing the clothes. Of course, they cannot be 100% clean, 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 clean. That's it. It has this, uh, that is, that's why it looks that way. So the process of cleaning, I'll also clean this stuff. This is usually used as a filter, I guess. So in a place you want to so when while cleaning, I'm also going to clean this. Probably you guys won't see that's why I'm mentioning it right now. So I'm going to remove this uchafu from here. This one. 
how to say it just the the that the it's like a filter of the washing machine so you just remove it and rinse it so that is how you clean it so i'm only going to rinse it then rinse the washing machine then from there dry it before returning it where i usually uh place it machine so that is how it looks pick and span and everything back to where it's supposed to be so i'm supposed not to return it there that is where it is usually stay i've not washed the jeans i don't usually wash the jeans using the washing machine because uh it usually stretch so it usually stretches my washing my trouser jeans so i usually don't wash them using the washing machine so these ones i'm going to hand wash them so that has been it uh, i'm done i hope i've i hope you guys have learned something i hope i've given you detailed information in case you've always had any question i hope i've answered all your questions so i'm going to return the washing machine the clothes i'm going to hang them later because right now it's around five five something i've, I've been washing them overnight so i want to return it clean this place this area then from there prepare myself and then go to the gym so that has been it for today i hope you guys have enjoyed the video kindly consider giving this video a thumbs up and also comment down below let me know what you think about the the, the washing machine and also let me know about let me know what you think about the whole review and also the video in general but guys guys i love you very very much and uh, see you on my next one bye bye forgotten to mention something uh about consumption power consumption i've not i've never like measured uh, very well but i don't think it usually consume a lot the tokens that i'm using cannot allow me to measure like the units that i'm consuming but maybe after i move out i'm gonna mention it uh that is if i find uh better tokens where i can be able to measure the amount of units that i'm using but others it doesn't consume a lot of electricity like sana 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 i think it's just normal uh something else i've mentioned that i don't usually wash the jeans trouser the trouser jeans with it and um something else when it comes to spinning it usually spin it usually dry 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 the clothes not kabisa kabisa in such a way that you can just dry them in the sun for like maybe an hour and they are fully dried but others they usually dry 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 something else that i've forgotten to mention okay those are some of the advantages when it comes to disadvantages you have to do most of the things manually as you guys have seen you have to remove clothes from the washer from from the wash section to the spin section you have to add some water manually you are uh, using the paper mat using a bucket so that you can now rinse them afterwards then you have to do everything manually except now washing uh unlike 
uh, the automatic washing machine where everything is done for every the where the machine does everything for you it usually drain the water for you okay it usually drain the water as long as you've left the tap open it usually drain in the water wash rinse on its own and everything so that's maybe the difference between this one and the automatic one of course if i'm asked i could i might con I, i'll choose uh automatic fully fully automatic washing machine although it's kind of expensive compared to this one but also this one is very good so far so good i can't complain much so that's it for today see you on my next one bye bye